If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. The first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. What's up Mod Squad, welcome to another Division 2 build breakdown video. Before we get into the video, if you're already subscribed to me then don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps push our videos into the recommended section which in turn helps the channel grow. Interaction is a big part of what helps us in the YouTube algorithm and the extra support is very much appreciated. In today's video, I'll showcase an easy to make DPS build for those of you who are returning to the game. This build will be easy to farm for, put together and isn't reliant on exotics. It provides a good amount of survivability and very high damage. Without added buffs from Vindictive or Finisher, you can hit 1 million crits to the head of NPCs and 800k crits to the body. With Finisher and Vindictive active or stacked together, you can hit 1.2 million to the head and 970k to the body. For those of you who have been away for a while, in TU15 we got the new gear set Heartbreaker, which is an assault rifle and NMG based gear set that provides not only high damage but high survivability as well, depending on how you build it. This gear set along with Hunter's Fury is what I'd highly recommend for those of you who are getting back into the game. This current version of the build is for those of you who like to sit back and use cover, but it can easily be changed into more of an up close run and gun build with an easy change of core attributes, going from red cores to blue cores. For those of you who are interested in more of a run and gun version this build i'll drop some links to those builds in the description and comment section below now once it comes to stacks with this build keeping stacks with this build isn't too difficult once you get them up to gain these stacks as fast as possible i recommend using a shotgun preferably the acs 12. the reason for that is because there's eight pellets in a single shot which will allow you to gain max stacks a lot faster than if you were just using your assault rifle this is evident in the gameplay. Max Dax will give you 50% bonus armor and 50% damage to pulsed enemies. Pulsing enemies is easy as it only requires a single headshot to pulse your enemies for 5 seconds. Or you can use the Banshee Pulse which will also highlight them and you gain this from the Gunner Specialization. The Gunner Specialization will boost DPS thanks to the added weapon handling and the 5% rate of fire boost on kill and add survivability through 10% armor on kill. Speaking of armor, that reminds me of a tip that a lot of players never realized or just didn't know. If you knew about this, let me know in the comment section below. As many of you know, the Vigilance Talent increases total weapon damage by 25%, and taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. Now what that talent doesn't tell you is that the disabling of the talent only applies when your base armor is damaged, that being your white bar of armor. If you have bonus armor and take damage, the Vigilance Talent stays active as you can see in the gameplay. Now thanks to the new Heartbreaker gear set allowing you to build bonus armor on pulsed enemies, it's very easy to keep your Vigilance talent active more often than not, making this a great replacement for the exotic Memento backpack, which is what I'd normally suggest for best in slot when it comes to solo players. This build is perfect for all heroic content whether that's control points, bounties, the summit and it's a great build for the new countdown game mode, which is where I recommend farming for new gear. This build can either be used solo or in a squad and is a lot of fun to use. Now I've spoke a little bit about it and showcased some of what it's capable of, let's get into a quick build breakdown. Starting off with our primary weapon which is the F2000 Assault Rifle. It has a pretty decent base damage, 850 RPM which gets boosted by the gun specialization and 50 in the magazine. When it comes to the talent, we're going to be using flatline as we're pulsing enemies, so amplifies weapon damage by 15% to pulsed enemies, after 3 kills applies a pulse to the next enemy you hit. Looking at the attachments, we have 5% crit chance on the scope, this also allows you to zoom in, as you can see it's a C79 scope, so we'll be able to zoom in for those long range kills. Moving on to the muzzle break, we have 5% critical hit chance, and then the magazine finally gives us the extra 20 rounds. Moving on to our secondary weapon, it is the ACS-12, this is going to help you gain your stacks a lot faster with the Heartbreaker gear set. We have 5% weapon handling on the reflex sight, the grip gives you 10% accuracy. And the talent we're using on this weapon is the Vindictive talent. Killing an enemy with a status effect applied grants you and your allies within 15 meters, 15% critical hit chance, and 15% critical hit damage for 20 seconds. Moving on to the sidearm, we have the Orbit Pistol, we're mainly running this because we get the perfect finisher talent. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. Moving on to the gear pieces now guys, we have the Kaiti's Mask. Now I said this build isn't reliant on exotic pieces, which it is not, so if you do not have the Kaiti's Mask, then I highly suggest using a Grupo Sombra Mask. Just like this, 15% weapon handling, 6% crit chance and 12% critical hit damage. Going back to the Kaiti's Mask though, as you can see, we still get all those stats, 50% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and then 12% critical hit damage via a mod. We gain an extra 25% critical hit damage if enemies are in 0 to 15 meters, 15 to 25, 10% critical hit damage, and 10% critical hit chance, 25 meters plus, 
plus 25% critical hit chance. Most of your engagements are going to be between 0 and 25 meters. Some of you may not want to use this exotic mask and feel that the Grupo mask will give you more consistent damage over range. Moving on to the chest piece now, we have the Heartbreaker chest piece. Heartbreaker gives us 15% assault rifle damage, 15% LMG damage, 15% weapon handling, and the four piece gives us heart stopper, headshot supply a pulse for five seconds. A lot of players seem to overlook this and forget that it applies a pulse if you hit a headshot. I always get asked how are you pulsing your enemies? You don't have to link laser pointer or you're not using a pulse as a skill. Well, you just hit a headshot. It just goes to show how many people skip over the descriptions on these gear sets. Weapon hits on pulsed enemies at a stack of plus 1% bonus armor and 1% damage to pulsed enemies up to a max of 50 stacks. Two stacks are lost each second. Looking at the attributes, we have 170k armor, 6% crit chance, and 12% crit rate damage. We have the max BPM talent, which increases max stacks from Heartstopper from 50 to 100. Moving on to our whole style, we have 15% weapon damage and 10.6% critical hit damage. The knee pads are Heartbreaker knee pads, 15% weapon damage and 12% critical hit damage. The gloves, Heartbreaker gloves, 15% weapon damage and 6% crit chance. And finally, the backpack which is a Seska backpack giving us 10% critical hit chance. We have 50% weapon damage, 6% crit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and then 12% critical hit damage via a mod. We have the Vigilance talent, guys, which we went over earlier in the build. Increases total weapon damage by 25%, taking that damage disables the buff for 4 seconds. So a overall pretty easy build to make. Gear set builds are very strong. They're super easy to make because you only have one mine attribute. What I'd suggest for most of you guys is farm for the mine attribute so there you could change the core attribute because just like i said earlier if this build is too squishy for you and you don't want to play from cover and you want more of a run and gun build you just add blue cores to this build and you'll be way tankier once you stack up on your bonus armor moving on to the skills we have the shield many using the shield because we don't have much armor and if we want to move out of cover from one area to the next the shield is a great help 4.9 percent shield health on that mod we have 4.6 percent shield health on that mod and then finally a 5 percent damage bonus mod which doesn't apply because we are not using the firewall specialization moving on to one of my favorite skills in the game is the banshee pulse we have 15 percent radius and then we have 15% effect duration. And the purpose of this skill is to stun multiple enemies and put them under a status effect so that you can gain your stacks easy at close proximity and also gain the vindictive talent which is on your shotgun. So not only will you put a status effect on them, gain your stacks, you'll also gain extra damage. That is pretty much it for the build guys. We're going to move on to the stat sheet. I'm not going to talk through it. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button help us hit that 500 like goal that we never miss here on the channel. I appreciate all the support as always. I look forward to talking to you guys in the comment section. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Mob Squad. What's up Mod Squad? Welcome to another Division 2 Build Breakdown video. Before we get into the video, if you already subscribed to me, then don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps push your videos into the recommended section, which in turn helps your channel grow. Interaction is a big part of what helps us in the YouTube algorithm and the extra support is very much appreciated. In today's video, I'll showcase my new Heartbreaker Gear Set Assault Rifle build for PvE. This is the first gear set in the Division 2 built around assault rifles, so automatically it's going to be highly favoured by the community and I can honestly say this gear set doesn't disappoint. In my opinion, the Heartbreaker gear set is very similar to the Strikers Battleground gear set, both offer the same amount of weapon handling and stack and lose damage in a very similar manner. What I believe does make the Heartbreaker a better gear set than Strikers is the 4 piece bonus, Heartstopper. This 4 piece not only allows you to stack damage but a considerable amount of bonus armor as well, 50 to 100% in fact, which as you can see by the gameplay is insane when you combine it with something else that pretty much does the same thing as the set, that being the Memento Backpack. Where the Heartbreaker Backpack would offer another 50% bonus armor, the Memento offers that 
plus 40% damage and 3% armor regen. In this build I'm using the Heartbreaker chest piece as it allows us to have that 100 stacks and gives us more consistent damage. To gain these stacks as fast as possible I recommend using a shotgun, preferably a ACS-12. This stacking method is also the same as the striker stacking method so again another similarity. This is a pretty basic build to make and offers an insane amount of damage and survivability. Just off one kill alone you gain 50% bonus armor on kill and 10% weapon damage on kill. This isn't including all the crit damage and crit chance on kill you can stack from both Vindictive and the finisher talent. At this build's base you have 1.7 million armor and fully stacked with bonus armor it's probably capable of reaching well over 4 million. And while your bonus armor is stacking the 3% armor regen will replenish your base armor. So not only do you have burst survivability but passive healing as well. Both types helping in different situations. This was not only great for run and gun, but is also insanely good at long range fights. To make the most of this build though, you'll need an aggressive playstyle to keep both damage and armor stacks active. The more you kill, the stronger you are. This build is perfect for all heroic content, whether that's control points, bounties, or the summit, and it's even a great build to use for the new countdown game mode. Now we spoke a little bit about the build and I'll showcase some what it's capable of, let's get into a quick build breakdown. Right guys, starting off with the specialization and we are using the technician. Main reasons is one, it gives us the extra skill tier so we'll have a total of two skill tiers on a build. This is going to help us get our firefly back quicker. The reason we're using the firefly over the banshee pulse from the gunner specialization is for some reason the banshee pulse is not proccing the vindictive talent anymore. I hit up Yannick on Twitter asking about this but you have yet to get a reply. So for now I'm using the technician, once they do fix the banshee pulse though, Go back to the gunner specialization and use the banshee post to help you stack vindictive and finisher like in my previous builds. But again for now we're using this specialization so we get the one skill tier, we get the extra 12% damage to drones and skill proxies which is good for the new countdown game mode seeing as you're going against a lot of the black tusk. If you decide to use a shield you can pair that with the artificial hive which is not only going to buff your shield but also boost its health if it takes damage. That is pretty much it for the specializations guys, with that said let's get into the build breakdown. Right guys, starting off with the primary weapon I am using my FAMAS, main reason is because I'm trying to level it up, as you can see it's a rank 4 when it comes to proficiency. I'm still currently using the InSync talent, reason being is I'm using the Striker Drone, one of the best skills in the game still to this very day. Great distraction when it comes to NPCs, which makes it a lot easier for you to run and gun, which is what you're going to do with this build. So looking at the attachments, we have 5% crit chance on the scope, we have 5% crit chance on the laser pointer, and 5% crit chance on the muzzle, and then the magazine gives us the extra 20 rounds. Moving on to our secondary, we have the ACS-12. This is what I recommend using, guys. It's got fast fire rate, and it's going to help you get those stacks for your Heartbreaker a lot, lot faster, just like it does with the Striker gear set. When it comes to the attachments on here, 5% crit chance on the scope, and we have 5% crit chance on the laser pointer. And when it comes to the talent, we have Vindictive, which is going to give you 50% critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 20 seconds, which applies to you and your allies. So the sidearm, and yes, the sidearm is still important, guys. I recommend the Orbit or any other pistol of your choice with the finisher talent. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. You can still stack Vindictive and Finisher together to boost up the crit chance and crit damage on this build. Moving on to the gear pieces, starting with our Heartbreaker Mask, the two piece gives us 15% assault rifle damage, 15% LMG damage, three pieces gives us 15% weapon handling like the striker gear set does, four pieces gives us the heart stop talent, headshots apply a pulse for 5 seconds, weapon hits on pulsed enemies adds a stack of plus 1% bonus armor and plus 1% damage to pulsed enemies up to a max of 50 stacks, and two stacks are lost each second. Looking at the attributes, we have armor at 154k, 12% crit crit damage, and then we have 6% crit chance via a mod. Moving on to the chest piece, we have armor again, 163k, slightly off max, we have 12% crit crit damage and 6% crit chance via a mod. And the chest piece gives us max BPM, increases max stacks from Heartstopper from 50 to 100. Moving on to the holster, again we have 170k armor, so that is max, and we have 10.6% critical hit damage. This is a pretty easy build to make guys, seeing as the uh, gear sets only have one minor attribute. So moving on to the gloves, we have 160k armor and 12% critical hit damage. Onto the knee pads, we have the fox pair knee pads, we have 15% weapon damage, 8% damage targets out of cover which is multiplicative damage, and 5.2% critical hit chance. And finally onto our backpack which is the Memento, best exotic to use in the game if you're a solo player. We have 15% weapon damage, 170k armor, 1 skill tier, and we have 5.8% critical hit critical chance via a mod. And then we have the kill confirmed talent that's going to give us the 50% bonus armor, 40% weapon damage and 3% armor regen. 
Now we're going over the build, let's get into the stat sheet. I'm not going to talk over it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, guys, we had that 500 like goal here on the channel that we always hit no matter what. So don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll reply like I always do. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Mob Squad. System reactivated. Area secure. Agent, you should be able to access the reactor. Agent down. Let's get you home.